Hey, what's up guys? It's Team S Knights. Welcome to house number 26 in our modern house series. So this house is going to be a little bit different than some of my other houses that I've made. Just in the fact that this house will actually not work on a super flat map. So if you do want to make this house, you will have to make it on a regular map. And you'll see why once we get started. Uh, so some of the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need clay, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, glass panes for the windows. I'm going to be using potion of swiftness. You don't have to worry about this. This is just for killing animals if they get in my way. You will need fences and then uh, blocks of iron for the garage door. Basically, that's all the materials we're really, really going to need for the outside of the house. So hopefully this house won't be too many parts. Uh, don't worry about the fences around the place just because I just added those there. Just to try to keep as many animals out of my way as possible. So you don't have to worry about those. So we're going to take out our clay and we're going to lay down nine things of clay down in the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some of these clay some of the pieces of clay so we're going to get rid of three in a row so we should have three blocks of clay left over we're going to place glass panes down here and then we're going to put more clay up on top just like this so you'll see why we're doing this here in a second but again like i said uh, a lot of this will be explained later on so we're going to clear out this and so we're going to clear this down to where if we put a block here that's going to be our third block of headroom. So, one, two, alright, so we're going to clear down two blocks. Let's just get rid of a lot of this down here. So this is going to be our living room down here, where we're going to have our TV and everything. I know a little bit different design having this into the floor. At least this might work on the flat map, I'm not sure. I know on PC you can edit your flat map, but on the 360 I don't believe this will work just because the flat map isn't deep enough. If you wouldn't mind having bedrock for your floor, uh, you could make it, but if you actually want to customize your floor, this would be uh, how you would have to do it as using a regular map. So let's get rid of the grass underneath our windows here and replace it with clay, just like this. So as you can see, these windows are kind of small, so the whole point is up here is going to be normal, just like uh, all my other houses. And then you're going to have stairs coming down into here. Alright, then let's make a wall going all the way back here. We're probably going to extend the, the building out a little bit more just for now. I just made it just far, uh, like this wide, just for just for now. So we'll, we'll probably customize it a little bit later. So then on top of this piece of clay right here, what we're going to do is take out some stone brick stairs and lay it on top of this block. So just like that. All right, so now, now what we're gonna do, this block right here, we're gonna have it come out three. One, two, three, then have it come across. Uh, let's actually have it come out two. There we go, just like this. Have it come out one, like that. Now our doorway is gonna be right here. Oh, our doorway is actually gonna be too wide. So then it's gonna be just like this. And there we go, that's what our doorway is gonna look like. So you could make this uh, well, actually what we're going to be doing is, this right here is going to be where our second floor is going to start. So we'll get to that here in a second because this is going to be kind of a two-story house, but at the same time it also will not be. So over here on the right side, we're going to make some windows. And so the windows are going to be a two-by-two two window, so it should be a perfect square, just like this. And we're only going to have two of them because this is not going to be a huge house, so this is not going to be a mansion. So for the people that are looking for a mansion, this is definitely not going to be the house for you. But hopefully this will actually look pretty nice for you. Alright, then we're going to put our fences on each side of the windows. So it should look just like that. So it kind of looks like it's supporting the stone brick stairs up here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to come forward a little bit. So one, two, three. And we're going to stack this up. And now we're going to make our garage door over here. So the garage door is going to be seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you could even make this five to kind of have it go with the house because if you have a garage door that's seven blocks long, it kind of looks out of place just because it is so long. So I'm actually going to cut it down to five, not seven. And then we're going to have it look just like this. Uh, let's take my potion of swiftness to make us fly a little bit faster. There we go. So this is how long our house is going to be. As you can see, it's not a very big house. We can place our glass panes in here to make our windows there. Alright, so we're going to start working on the second floor right here. So we're going to add some windows. 
So the windows are going to be the exact same width as the windows down here below. So you can place these here. So those are going to be our other windows. So you can put our glass panes in here as well. So these windows are going to be a 3x2, not a 3x1. Alright, and then what we can do is we can place stairs here. And we can make our stair step going all the way up. So just like this. You might notice that it's an odd number. Don't worry, that's fine. Because we're going to place our slab up here on the top. And then we have it come extend out one farther. Oh, I can't place it in the right spot. Alright, so... One thing I really don't like about making houses like these using stairs like this is so... I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to keep our stairs there, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to have slabs, then a block, then a block over here. We're going to have to put clay here again. Slabs. There we go. And then this way it kind of makes it to where the roof isn't as steep. But then again, it also makes it, it doesn't look right. So either way, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the stair step just because it looks more natural. So, if you want to use the other way, you can, but I was just trying to show you a couple more other ways you could do this. So, if you did want a couple other ways. Okay. There we go. Now, let's have it extend out one farther from the house. Put a slab up here. Alright, so how's this look so far? Actually, the clay's not looking too bad. Alright, so all this over here is going to be... A roof so you're actually not gonna have too much over here over here is where you're gonna have all your bedrooms so basically what we can do is we could extend this out a little bit farther so we're gonna extend it all the way out to our fences over here I will count here in a second how long this actually is for the people that want to know so all this is gonna it's just gonna be a plain wall there's not gonna be any windows over here you could add some windows if you want but I'm not going to add any. Alright, so what we're going to do is we want to make this an even number over here. So what we're going to do is come from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. On the 14th block, you want to place a piece of clay. Then have it. You want to have it be even with this first pillar right here on the doorway. And then have it come all the way across over to this last window over here. And then there we go. That's one, that's going to be basically one of our sections. We can make another wall right here so you know. Uh, then what we're going to do is the garage is going to be a little bit shorter than this one over here. It's going to be too shorter. So now you can kind of see the layout of the house so far. So this is going to be a roof that is going this way. And you see all the roofs are a little bit different. Uh, this roof over here is going to be the same roof as this one right here. So you can put stairs here. And this to do our stair step all the way even with it. Then we're gonna have to have our slab up on top like this. And then we want to put the stairs out one farther from the house. Do do do. There we go. Put our slab up here. Alright, so then what we want to do is we could add a small window up here for daylight coming in during the day. My swiftness ran out, so let's take that. Alright, so we can add some more windows later, but I'm going to stack up this back wall right here. So just stack it up. I believe it's four tall, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, four tall. And then let's also stack up the garage, which is going to be the same height. Or height. Is it height or height? I believe it's height. It'll be the same height. Height. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, so let's stack this wall up as well. Alright, so it's looking pretty good so far. So let's start our stair step. So it's going to start right here, as we know. And now we're going to do our stair step going all the way, all the way up. So if we have a line come all the way over to the other stairs. Uh, we actually need to make the stairs one shorter, I believe, on the other side. Whoop. So just like that. Alright, now we're fine. So now let's make our line again. So let's make our stair step going all the way up. And you're just going to do this all the way until you come to a point. And we, since we made this an even number, or actually I guess we made it an odd number. 
Uh, whatever. It's still going to work out perfectly fine. So do our stair step. Put a slab up here on the top. Now we can extend these stairs all the way out to the end over here. And then since we move this, we actually want to move this wall in one more. And now it can connect to the actual house itself. A lot of this will actually look better with corner stairs, which we are going to be getting soon for the Title 12. I'm trying. There we go. Now let's do our stairs up again. And I'm going to go sleep here in a second once we get this roof done. I need to put a slab up here. Alright, now let's place our stairs here going all the way across. So our garage is almost done and actually the house itself is almost done already. Like I said, this is actually a very small house and it's meant for, I, will, I guess I wouldn't say survival, but just, just fun, uh, nice looking houses in my opinion. So let's put our, oh, put nothing, we're going to sleep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we have basically the garage roof done. And so what we're going to do is extend all these out one more. Whoa. So these stairs over here, we're going to send out just one. Put a slab up here. Okay. All right, now let's continue this pattern going all the way over. So we finish up our roof over here, and then we only have one more roof to get done. Like I said, this is a very nice, simple house. And you can also use whatever material material you want, because some people are like, oh, well, can you use a different material other than clay, just because clay is a little bit harder to get. And I do know that, but I'll probably say 99% of my houses are more meant for creative mode. And so for the people that want to make this in survival, it's a little bit, a little bit tougher. And so I would suggest using wood, just because that's probably the biggest resource you're going to find right off the bat. And if I think if you actually did make this out of wood and wood stairs, it would actually still look pretty good. So if somebody wants to do that and then tell me a picture, they let me know how it looks. That'd be awesome. So just let me know how it goes. All right, so there's that roof. All right, so now what we're going to do is our second floor is going to be starting. Whoop. Uh, let's make a wall right here. Connecting these, there we go. Now that looks better. There's a plain wall. So our first floor is going to start right here. And so I kind of want to use uh, birchwood planks for the floor. So use birchwood planks for the floor here. And I'm going to take my swiftness real quick. There we go. Uh, then let's have it come all the way back to this back wall. And so before I get ahead of myself, so this wall starting from these front windows is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks long. So if you do want to know how long that back wall was or that side wall, that's how long it is. It is 15 blocks wide. And so let's add our birch wood planks from all the way over here. And then I guess we could move this all the way back over to here. At our stack this all the way up there we go so then let's put our birchwood planks here as well all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out some we don't need the iron doors anymore or iron blocks not iron doors uh, what was I looking for uh, what kind of stairs do we want to use I think we should use spruce wood stairs and so from the doorway, we're going to have stairs coming down from here. So just like that. So the door or the stairs going down, they start at uh, the third block counting from the doorway. And then we're going to have another set of stairs right here coming up to our birchwood planks. And so we're going to have two rooms. And then what we can do is... Uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? Hmm. How do we want to do this, guys? Uh, we, I guess we could always come back to that. Let's make a wall here. 
I guess if we do this, this actually work out pretty nice. So if we put out birch wood planks there. Well, actually, I think that actually works out pretty nice. So if you do it like that. Then we can come down. We also need to add some clay here. So get rid of this dirt. Replace it with the clay. Alright, so if we come up here. We still need to get rid of all that dirt down there. But I'm trying to figure out the stairs right here. I've actually never made this house before. This is the first time I've made it. So I'm just with you guys trying to figure out as I go how things look. So let's add our birchwood planks there. And I guess to continue the pattern, we should have our clay be right here. And so uh, these rooms are going to be basically pretty small. And so each room is only going to be this big. So we're going to have a small little hallway for our uh, like a little hallway just to get into the room. So we could put our doors uh, like right here. So again, small little rooms. It's, like I said, it's not a very big house, so you have to work with what you have. And this is not meant to be a mansion, so... Let's make our walls here using the clay. Let's stack this up. Put this here. Alright. So I actually need to stack up this wall one more as well. Alright, so this actually looks pretty nice so far. And then let's stack this up. Alright, so there we go. That's basically what our upstairs is going to look like. So you're going to come... You need to replace that. There we go. Now that looks better. There we go. Alright, so we can put this here. We can make another wall here to cover up the stairs. And you get rid of all this grass in here that we need to get rid of. Do, do, do. And I need to put some torches in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Right now I'm just clearing out dirt and replacing with the clay we have. And I need to take my swiftness again. And let's put the fences away in our inventory and then take out some torches to light this place up a little bit. Ah, uh, that's better. That helps a lot. Alright. So here we go. Let's put the clay in here. Alright, then we want to get rid of all this dirt on the first floor. Or I guess, will this be considered the second floor? The minus one floor. So this will be on the minus one floor. And so, we're going to get rid of all this grass here and replace it with the birchwood planks that we have. You could even use spruce wood planks if you want to kind of separate the floors. All depends on what you want to do. So let's put this here. So we're doing pretty nice. I like the house so far. Alright, so then we would come down here. This is where our living room is going to be. Then you come upstairs. Here's our bedrooms. Let's add some windows in here though. Uh, we still need to actually finish this wall right here. You don't want to just see out of the house like that. Alright, so these windows can be the 2x2 two two windows. And there we go. Alright, now let's continue our roof and then the outside of our house will be done. For the most part. Besides some of the windows we need to add on the back. Alright. So then let's do the same thing with these over here. Oh. Do that. Oh, I'm running into every single stair possible. So I'm just going to do this to save a little bit of time. I don't have to keep flying back and forth. All right. So I have come all the way across. Oh, there we go. And now we just need our slab up on top, and then our roof is done. And then we need to put our clay here to cover up, seeing outside up here. There we go. 
So if we come to the outside, how's everything looking? So I think with corner stairs, a lot of this would look a lot better. So one thing you could do is kind of just connect the roots with each other. Right now, without corner stairs, it won't look as good, but hopefully we get those here pretty soon. And then connect them. I think that does look a lot better now. So then we can connect these as well, once you get to here. And then we could put, uh, we could put, what are they called, stone slabs here, the stone brick slabs. That's not too bad. Again, with corner stairs, it would look a lot better, but we don't have those, so. Alright, so we could add some more windows up here. Uh, let's actually do this. Then we could put our glass panes. Uh, I guess that actually doesn't work because the glass panes don't connect with whatever they're called, uh, stairs. Having trouble thinking of stuff. It's like 12 o'clock here. I don't know I'm recording. Alright, so we need to add some more windows back here. So let's make this a back door. And then we could make the rest of this like a big window right here. And put the glass panes in there. Let's make a wall here. So it separates it from the garage. So up here is gonna be our kitchen ba our kitchen basically and our dining area. Then down here, like I've said before, is gonna be our living room. So we could get rid of, uh, do I need to take some more softness? I do. So to get rid of all this grass, we're just going to replace it with the birch wood planks. Do, 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 do. Shouldn't take too long since the house isn't too big. And this mash in the trigger, trying to get, as, get rid of this as much as possible. There we go. All right, now time for our birch wood planks. And now just fill all this in with what we got rid of with the birchwood planks. So to stack this up, we also need to make a door leading into our garage. There we go. One more layer to go. Okay. Now let's put some torches in here to light this place up a little bit. Put it here and there. Also make a door leading into the garage and then make another one exiting the garage out the back there we go and you could make the garage here out of stone on the floor uh, and then so let's put stone in there for the garage and then we can end part one of house number 26 basically we got the entire house done in one part now in part two we're just gonna finish it up with the interior which hopefully wouldn't look too bad so we're just gonna use regular stone for the garage floor alright there we go so let's put doors everywhere and then it's kind of top one more thing to do on the inside is just get rid of seeing the roof from here well, you don't want that, so just kind of separate it. So what we're gonna do is just we're just gonna add clay here. So, oh, uh, I guess that'll work. And so what we're gonna be doing is just putting the clay here, so it separates it, you from seeing the roof itself. Kind of makes it look like there's an attic or another floor up here, which you actually could do if you wanted to. So if you do want to have another floor, I'm not sure where you would put the stairs, but I'm sure somebody could find a way and a place to put them then there we go let's do the same oh, we actually want to leave this open since we have this door here or this window and there we go so let's put doors in all the doorways and then part one will be done we'll put the door in the wrong spot there we go put doors here one more there and then in the bedrooms, and then there we go. Part one's done. So thanks for watching, guys. Please, oh, get out. Get out. There we go. Oh, we actually need to, every time I'm ready to end it, I think it's something else I have to do. Let's extend this out one farther from the house. There we go. All right, so now we can end it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. Stay tuned in for part two. 
So again, thanks for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe and stay tuned in for more videos if you haven't seen those.